Scripture tells us that two working together are better than one alone, that iron sharpens iron, and that where two or three are gathered in the name of God, you are with us. Though we were made for connection with one another, we confess that our communities often appear broken. Families collide with strife and bitterness. Churches teem with pride and politics, and nations are at war. It is only through your peace, the peace that passes all understanding, that healing and righteousness can be nurtured in our communities. Hear this reminder from Psalms 85, 8-13. through I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants. But let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near, those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together, righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give it what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. We light this second candle of Advent to remind us of God's promise to bring peace to his children. We wait, we watch, and we pray for the coming of your Son, the Prince of Peace. Let us pray. O oh God, you once calmed the raging storm with a, sim with a simple peace be still. We ask you to speak those same words over our life. Over our life. To plant within each of us a peace that will grow to, into faithfulness and righteousness. Calm our fears, heal our relationships, and build your community. Pour your peace over us like rain, so that we are forever changed and forever yours. Amen. Amen.